welcome Professor Joe Philip Chadman, Exayami. We welcome you, sir, and thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to host this event. Welcome, Madam Thank you. Usually, in a center like this, we have 10, 11, maximum 12 musical set. But here we have 16 teams. That goes to the popularity of this college and the leadership. Let's join to give a hand. I have a very senior colleague with me, he introduced him, Professor Antan, who is a provost. Provost means the dean of deans. We have three deans at three different colleges. So he's the boss of those deans. Very experienced man, spent most of his time. In the US, when the debate was over, he made a comment to me. He said, you remember how quiet and disciplined this crowd was? <laughs> yes. Not a sound. Fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> and Vandana, the way you organized clock-like procession. Girls, you deserve a lot of congratulations. Fantastic. <laughs> Let us you have a lot of time in deciding on who these best three are. But let me take you to a few things which he did not touch on. One is some of you speakers depended very largely on your notes or almost wholly dependent. Some of you had nothing in your hands, only in your head. Both have their limitations. You always say no red speech. In a competition, it cannot be a red speech. <coughs> Likewise, in a competition, it cannot be a memorized speech. So you always say carry notes on a paper of this size. Take your notes, make points, and the put that. It's accepted. Any good speaker uses notes. So please don't run away from that. That is not a crime. Use notes. So you will not forget all the way. Even if you forgot, there it is. You look at that and apply. So I suggest to all of you, when you speak, use notes. A second point which I'd like to add to what we have said is nothing like facts. Search, search and search. When you teach our students in public speaking, we say, prepare, prepare, and prepare. And then we add practice, practice, and practice. We say public speaking is the best form of personality development. There is nothing, nothing ever near it. Speaking as the most powerful contributor to personality development. So therefore, those of you who are interested, when right? anyone going to management education is a must, you just cannot avoid it. And you must invest time on it. It's an absolutely pleasant, pleasurable thing to feel that I am a good speaker. Now, the moment you think that I made a good speech, you move up by one inch. Your personality moves up. And Maria was a good speaker. And that is why I'm being um, we had an agreement between us uh, that most places when I have to speak, she will also come. And she will sit somewhere in the middle. <coughs> and if my speech is not going too well, she will show me a sign. Not going too well. So you <laughs> better change your approach. If I'm going too well, she will say yes, keep going. Right. And she was an excellent speaker as the young lady read out. Um, the Crown and Glory was in a national competition in Delhi when she was selected by all those students who assembled from all over the country as the most popular girl. <coughs> I'll take you to something 
something which has some historical <coughs> looking back. A week before she died, she was studying in Madras and I was in Bangalore. I was at IIA. <coughs> I had an invitation from the British Council to inaugurate their <coughs> Education Film Festival. So I go for that. It was a week, week before she died. So I, was, I told her also to come. So she was okay. It's a big gathering like this. It was all done. And then these British Council fellows, deputy high commissioner and company said, why don't you go to the club and have dinner? And I took her too. She also came. She was a very interesting conversation. It's very, very interesting one. So these British fellows are so, so impressed by her. They asked her, what are you going to do after your studies? Said, uh, no, no, decided that whether I go for a job or further studies. So I have decided. Then these people are so impressed by her. Would you like to go to UK to study? She said, who would like to go to UK? Yes, then this man said, we will arrange for you an ODS scholarship to go next year. None of that. So she has to open studies in UK next year. And she completed. And then the dinner was over by 11 or so. I was driving her back to the hostel. And on the way she asked me, Dad, do you remember something which I told you? I said, what's it? He told me several things. What is this? She said, about business school. I said, what is it about business school? That you must start a business school. Once your term is over with IA in Bangalore. I said, there was plenty of time when she had that out. Now, she spoke with some urgency that evening. Tonight, 11, 11, 30, driving back to the hospital. She said again that I wanted to think about it. That was her last conversation. Very last. <laughs> so that was the origin of Zion. Next week she was gone. That's a very free accident, very, very difficult accident. Very difficult accident to happen, but it happened. But when we are Thinking about it, I began to wonder, what, how did this accident happen? It's almost like made to order. But she did not go away. The very last message that she gave me was, Dad, start a business school. So therefore, perhaps that was a message that was sent to me from above. And we decided we will serve the younger generation of India. We started with one business school in Bangalore, moved to Kochi, second one, and now in Chennai. We are now seriously concerned on a fourth one. But believe me, this is deliberately, purposely built to be a service to you and people like you all the time. That was the point. Let me turn to the competition. Now, the other side was in the family and among my friends. We had a discussion. What is the other way in which we should which way, make her happy if she can see from above? And we decided she was such a fantastic speaker. So said, This is something which she would like to see. That young girls, we always insist that the team has to be one boy and one girl, or both girls. We never take a team of both boys. And this is now done in three states. Kerala started in Kerala, then we took to Karnataka. This is the first year in Tamil Nadu, which will continue for years to come. Now we have three centers here, Coimbatore, Trichy and Chennai.